I would say we have one to one and a half years left until we enter the campaign season. And in fact, before the presidential and legislative elections, we have local and regional elections uh, next summer. So really, you know, we have one more year uh, for very significant reforms. And after that, uh, we probably do enter more maintenance or caretaker mode, uh, even though uh, I would not underestimate how much can be done in caretaker mode. I think um, uh, a revamp of the way we produce regulations uh, might be possible in the next one or two years. It's quite surprising, but right now the way ministerial decrees and regulations are issued is behind closed doors uh, and with very limited public consultation. So as President Jokowi has said in the press statement opening a cabinet meeting is ministers will sign these rules or decrees into law, they're released, everyone is shocked and surprised, and then there's a lot of noise, and then we have to revise or cancel those decrees altogether, right? Uh, what the president said is rules and regulations and policy should be made through a transparent process through many, many months and many, many times of open public consultation so that when a regulation is passed, it doesn't come as a surprise. And also through the public consultation, all the inputs are considered, right? So that's something that is fully within the control of the executive branch and something that could uh, realistically be implemented in the next, uh, next one or two years, I would say. Removing investment restrictions from sectors definitely makes a huge difference. Uh, and that's another example of reforms we could implement in the next one to one and a half years. So from my perspective, Lynn, uh, the Trump administration uh, has simply started doing what, in my experience, most other governments around the world are doing, which is to lobby intensively on behalf of their companies. Pre-Trump administration, perhaps uh, the Washington approach was very technocratic and very uh, paternalistic uh, in a way. Uh, now the approach is much more directly commercial and shall we say proactively uh, fending for the interests uh, of corporate America. To me, that's nothing unusual. Uh, I've sat in on countless meetings between President Jokowi and other heads of state and many or even most other heads of state fend very directly for their country's corporate sector uh, interests. Uh, so in a way, uh, I think uh, the Trump administration is simply doing what many or most governments have been doing, uh, certainly in my experience. When I was still Minister of Trade uh, for Indonesia, uh, at that time, uh, I did convey to the Obama administration uh, my desire to uh, try to implement a bilateral investment treaty while they were still in office. Uh, they were floored uh, because it's something that the U.S. has asked for for a long time. And again, uh, due to our previously closed inward-looking orientation, we always ignored uh, that desire. I can share that we're making a lot of internal progress on resolving those sticky issues like investor-state dispute uh, resolution. So uh, my goal is to actually get all the internal issues resolved in the next one or two months uh, because BITs is not something that uh, is an outstanding issue with only the USA. Due to legislation from 2007, we've now lapsed or terminated BITs with dozens of countries around the world and everybody's concerned uh, about putting in place a successor treaty for investment protection. Personally, I would be very keen uh, to put a BIT front and center um, as something that we could achieve relatively quickly between the USA and Indonesia. Well, we are roughly in line with the target. 
Uh, I'm still optimistic that we'll achieve the target this year, but it's definitely taking place under a more competitive environment. I think in hindsight, in 2015, 2016, uh, we benefited from some extraordinary troubles that our neighbors or our rival countries were experiencing. Uh, those rival countries have now put, uh, put those difficulties behind them and uh, now are roaring back uh, with significantly stepped up FDI inflows. Uh, so we're facing much more intensive competition uh, from our neighbors and rival countries who are trying to claw back their share of the regional FDI. And beyond that, of course, what's really important is uh, to maintain reform momentum. You know, being a former investment banker, you know, I always like to say you're only as good as your last deal. So last year, the theme was the historic tax amnesty, but what's next, right? What's next, what's next, what's next? Uh, so I think maintaining the momentum, continu continuing to roll out very meaningful reforms that keep the Indonesia story fresh and engaging and exciting uh, is, is key.